Hey guys, it's Greta here, Ladies Relationship Coach and today my lovely ladies, I'm going to give you more tricks on how to make hair's mind wonder, how to create mystery in a relationship, how to keep him on his toes, how to push his buttons and how to make him a little bit jealous and obsessed over you and still look genuine about it and even look more as a woman of high value and a challenge rather than a woman he would look down after or disrespect or a doormat or so on, you know? So the wrong way to do it is making him jealous in front of his face, right? So let's say flirting extensively with another guy in front of his face, maybe slutty dancing and so on. Because when guys are very logical, so he will realize straight away that all you're doing is trying to create a reaction from him. And he will be like, at the end of it, he will just undervalue you, he will start disrespecting you. Um, he might even disappear after this for a week or so just to show you that it's not acceptable, right? So if you're going to do it in front of your, his face just like that, it won't get you anywhere good, right? But there is a very good way to do it. And let me tell you the way. <laughs> so imagine it's a Saturday night and like the guy texts you for example so let me tell you first a bad example right so a guy texts you and he says hey babe how are you what are you doing tonight what are your plans for tonight and then the bad example is you basically write him an essay telling him what you're doing who you're going out with what you're doing where you're gonna be who's your friend and so on for the evening right you tell him everything in detail and you send it off right then he's like, he reads it, he knows your schedule for tonight, there is no mystery, there is no wondering, there is plenty feeling of safety, he knows everything about it, he's feeling safe, calm and bored, yeah, whatever, you know, have fun, that's it, right? That's all you're gonna get from him, right? Because you just send him this response, this response. Now, the other way, a clever way is, he sends to you the same message. He goes like, hey babe, what are you up to tonight? Um, are you going out? What you're doing? You know? And then you just reply, hey hon, yeah, um, I'm doing great. I'm having such an amazing day. Um, I can't wait for this evening. Uh, I hope you're gonna have a, a great day too. Smiley face, send off, right? The guy is going like, hold on a minute, she actually didn't tell me any details, she just told me that she's gonna have a great night, she's doing great, she sounds super excited, and I have I have no idea about what she's up to, right? So his mind is wondering, what is she up to, what's going on, which friend, where is she going, why is she so happy, right? Then he sends to you, uh, so where are you going, and, and what friend, is it a guy, is it a girl, you know, like, hmm... <laughs> And he sends it off to you. And because you're so busy and you're having such an amazing day, a couple hours you reply to him, Hey hon, yeah, it's my friend Susie. She's great. We always have such a good time. I can't wait. We can't wait to go out together tonight, right? So you send it to him after a few hours because you leave him that time to wonder and to get a bit of paranoia. You know, it's healthy for them, don't worry, it's good. In, in the good amounts, it's healthy. <laughs> and when you reply that to him, and when he's like, okay, Susie, okay, so it's not the guy. Then he sends you off again a message, like, so where are you girls going tonight? Then again, because you're having such an amazing time, you reply to him a few hours later, where are you going? Giving him a little bit of the fun and exciting detail, okay? So ladies, you see what I mean? Through the whole night, you give him a little bit of information which is positive, happy, and fun, right? And you sound like you're having the best time ever. And at the same time, you keep creating that space for him to kind of wonder and overthink things. Same as your mind wonders what, where he's at when you don't know anything, same goes for him, right? So yeah, girls, as simple as it sounds, after this, he will get a bit of paranoia, he will think a little bit, he will feel a little bit on the edge, there will be mystery, he will keep texting you to find out more and you will get 
the feeling that he cares, you know, so it's basically, and you created just some jealousy because he's overthinking stuff, his mind is wandering, right? So here you go, a genuine way to make a guy jealous and to keep him on his toes and even make him see you more as a challenge because you just made him feel on the edge of his seat. And they love that. They love that. <laughs> Okay, ladies, so if you have any questions for me, I answer the first question completely free. If you live abroad, WhatsApp me your question to 0044751089359292. And if you live in the UK, WhatsApp me your question to 0751089359292. And I can't wait to hear from you, ladies. Have a beautiful day.